introduction of the new Chinook HC-1B helicopter into the Army's inventory will mean an increase in tactical airlift capability for combat units. During the early development of the Chinook, tests were conducted using this mock-up of the aircraft to prove the capability of transporting the Pershing missile. Today, after successfully passing its flight tests, the aircraft is ready to take its place as a member of the Transportation Corps. A pair of powerful turbine engines putting out a total of 4,400 horsepower spin the rotors of the king-size Chinook HC-1B helicopter. Fast and easy loading is provided by a ramp at the stern of the 30-foot-long cargo compartment. Six and one-half feet high and seven and a half feet wide, the roomy interior permits speedy transport of light vehicles as well as other large pieces of military equipment. Capable of transporting 33 troops in full combat gear or carrying an internal load of three tons a distance of 100 miles, the Chinook will provide a big assist in logistical support to combat areas. Heavier loads weighing up to seven tons can be carried externally, slung from a cargo hook below the fuselage. Normal cruising speed for this twin-rotored aircraft is 130 knots. Maximum ferry range is over 1,200 nautical miles. The Chinook enhances the Army's ability to move swiftly in the event of limited conventional or brush fire warfare. Now type classified for limited production, the first company of 16 Chinooks is expected to be operational in 1963. the new and improved Chinook cargo helicopter standing over 18 feet high and weighing over 23,000 pounds. This is a totally brand new aircraft. The major difference in this Chinook from the old ones is the digital cockpit which provides increased situational awareness for the soldiers. It gives him the ability not to just fly the aircraft in a battle now but to manage his aircraft amongst all the other systems on the battlefield more effectively and safely. Not only has the Chinook been upgraded from analog to digital, the engine has been improved from its 1962 design, among other developments. It's a redesigned airframe uh, to make it more structurally sound and stronger so that it can handle the weights it has to lift. Plus, the Chinook is not wearing the Army aircraft green color anymore. The new color is called a woodland desert mix. If you notice today, 
uh, it takes on the hue of the gray uh, because it's an overcast day. If you put it into a desert environment, it actually takes on uh, somewhat that sand color uh, and the paint looks more like its background. Bottom line, the new techniques and improvements are all in place to help better protect our soldiers fighting in Iraq. It will give him better protection both through the visual threat that, that seeks to acquire him, but also through many other types of uh, weapon systems that are out there today.